Alrighty, let's get into this next batch of stuff. Um, my daughter, again, amazing pulls on that last stuff. That Pokeball she did, the Premier Ball, was amazing. I am going to start with my Charizard UPC. As you can see, doesn't have the plastic on it. I actually wanted to keep this sealed, but if you can see it, I don't know if you can. The people that sent it to me cut the front of my box and the wrapping, so wasn't going to be able to do that. So I'm just going to get into this, and I can't wait to see what we get. Now, I already do know what is in here. There's some amazing stuff, some very beautiful promo cards. This playmat is very gorgeous. Which we got right here. Very gorgeous playmat, which I am going to lay down to use for our cards. into this first and foremost I'm gonna get these promo cards out and get them into sleeves and I will show you each one as we do it so here is the pack of the promos which I do believe there is three in here as well as a code card which will be going to all of you is the code card and we have the Charizard V very beautiful which I believe is a new card that they are reprinting in the uh, Crown Xena set coming out mid-January which if you haven't put your pre-orders in um, Rare Candy right now has them, again, for $46, I believe. Um, and then with shipping, you're probably looking around $52, which, I mean, not the best savings, but you're saving $3 to $4, as opposed to buying them $50 from anywhere else pre-order. So um, if you want to support a small business and another YouTube channel, um, I would go to Rare Candy and uh, get the app and get some good deals. Um, I'm going to get these guys and some top loaders before I jump into the actual packs. So again, there is that Charizard V. Very beautiful card, and it looks very beautiful back and front. Next up is the Charizard V-Star promo card out of our UPC, which is a very nice card. We're going to again penny sleeve this guy up. Again, I recommend penny sleeves and top loaders. I have learned my mistake, and you will learn it as well if you go binders, that it is not the best way to keep your cards. You want to be penny sleeved and top loader. And if you are going to go into a binder, I suggest using a penny sleeve for sure. And if you can get a binder that loads from the side, instead of top to bottom, that is best as well. Last promo card is the Charizard VMAX, another beautiful card. I have, I just pulled the Charizard um, Shiny VMAX out of Shining Fates recently, which was amazing. I wish we would have already had the channel going and that would have been pulled on a video, but you can't win them all. So I am just happy to have it. And I will show it to you guys here soon, one of these videos, just so you can see. It is going to be going into a PSA grading hopefully here soon, because it looks beautiful. And again, here are our three promo cards. And um, if anyone's interested in the UPC, they are you available, or were available, at Target for a lower price at 109 which is a very good deal. Any good cards so far? I haven't even opened a pack. Oh, really? Okay, and out of the first box, out of this UPC, we have a 
Lost Origin, Astro Radiance, another Astro Radiance, yet another Astro Radiance, and three Brilliant Stars. And I am going to start with the Lost Origin because I want to pull my very beautiful partner, Pokemon Misty Trainer, this Aerodactyl Alternate Art because that is her card she would love to have as her Christmas present. Huge Jurassic Park fan, as are we all in this family. And that card is the epitome of a Jurassic Park Pokemon card. And here is our code card for y'all. Alrighty, we have a Poliwag, Oddish, Growlithe, Seedot, Slugma, Reverse Mawile into a Stonjur non holographic for our rare. <clears throat> Not the best start, but at least, you know, fun loving Pokey Cat over here. I can't get her name right. Why don't you say it so they Fun know. Time Pokey Cat. Fun Time Pokey Cat. It's a FNAF thing. I have no idea what FNAF is. I'm Fun sure. Is a yeah, there you go. I'm sure a lot of other parents are like, ah, yeah. So there we go with that. Let's hope for some better luck in this next pack. We are moving on to. I'm going to save the Brilliant Stars for last, actually, and go into our Astral Radiance. First Astral Radiance pack out of this UPC. Let's see if we get anything good. Here is our code card for anyone who's interested. And we have a Stantler, Bergmite, Cyndaquil, Hippopotasapapatas. Hip? Hip hop? Hip hop anonymous? Scyther. Reverse hollow his Swinian Arcanine into We got we got something here. Into a Hisuian Samurai V. Definitely better than our first pack we opened. And I do not have that card, so very happy. So we will get this into our penny sleeve and top loader and move on to our next pack. And you, turn off your phone because I don't need to hear that. And no I didn't mean to do that. Turn off my volume. Okay. Alrighty, and that is our Hisuian Samurai V out of our Astral Radiance pack. stack these buddies up over here and go into our next one and I'm not gonna lie this pack feels a little heavy so let's see what we get here is our code card for all and let's get into this another Cyndaquil Another Scyther, Hisuian Growlithe, Bronzer, Rufflet, Reverse Scyther, into a non-hollow Hisuian Basque Legion for our rare. So, it's been a hit and a miss out of these first few packs, but let's hope for something big. Next Astro Radiance pack. This is the last Astro Radiance pack out of this first little bin in our UPC. And it seems like I am in Groundhog's Day. Let's do it again. Hisuian Growlithe, Bronzer, Rufflet, Hisuian Quillfish, Rowlet, Reverse Hisuian Sneasel into a Hollow Cleaver for our rare. Hopefully we can boost this up a little bit. 
nowadays rares aren't the best. I wish it was Wizards of the Coast days sometimes and the hollows were killing it, but I do love my alternate arts and the ultra rares and everything. It is very beautiful and I can't wait for Crown Zenith because the artworks on that look amazing. And we are gonna go into our brilliant stars and we have three of these. Alrighty. Here is our code card out of this. There you go. And we have a Clefairy. Clefairy! Bidoof. Uh, Bidoof is the like most laziest Pokemon name I swear ever. <laughs> no, it's Snorlax. I don't know about that. Snorlax is actually a good name for the Pokemon. A beaver named Bidoof. Uh, oh, you're talking about the name. I thought you were just talking about the Pokemon. Electabuzz. Halucha. Weasel. Reverse Muck into... Uh, and see see what happens? I talk poo on the Bidoof, and what do they give me? They Babarrel me. Babarrel Hollow for the rare. Is it a ditto? No, that's Pokemon Go with oh. the dittos. That's almost comical. So, I mean... I got barreled for dissing the Bidoof. I got Bidoofed. Alrighty, next Brilliant Stars pack. Let it, let's get something good. Let's get something really good out of this. Unfortunately, I saw the back of the code card, so I don't have my height set high. But there is the code. Let's hope maybe, I don't know, maybe good trainer gallery, who knows? We'll see. Clink, or... Kalink, Spiritomb, Excu, Magmar, which I actually absolutely love this Magmar. It is such a holiday snowy buddy. Like snowy? He's like burning down Jack Frost. You just see a snowmill melting out the end of that fire thing. It's, it, I love it. Very beautiful. Impidimp, Reverse Starly, and we're just not having it. Non-hollow star raptor for the rare. Alrighty. And that is going into our bulk pile. And we are on to our last brilliant stars pack out of our first little cubby in this UPC. And let's see what we got here. Here is our code card and we have a purloin duskull sneasel corfish magmar reverse execute and a wormadam non-hollow hopefully this picks up here soon because uh my daughter has killed it on the pools and i am lacking in it so let's go into the next stack of packs, which are a stack for sure. And in this as well, we have this Pokemon coin, Charizard, which is hard metal. It is a nice, beautiful coin. And uh, the only other thing that was in that cubby besides packs, the first one was just a V-Star marker, which I didn't feel you guys needed to see. You've seen them before. All right, and uh, pack-wise, we have... Uh, to fusion strike and i'm dropping one like a derp you are derp and two evolving skies a vivid voltage and a darkness ablaze and some of you might be asking like oh that seems like a little less packs than what i remember of the upc and that is because i am impatient and when I saw my box was damaged and I wasn't gonna be able to keep it sealed, I was like, you know what? Every time I had a bad opening, I was like, I'm gonna take a pack out of this UPC until I get a hit. And I did that. Luckily, it was always the first pack that I got a hit. So I still have most of the packs out of this UPC and we'll enjoy them together. So, sorry, um, I'm going Darkness Ablaze first. And here is the code card for all y'all. 
we have a Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff Tuck. You know, Skitty, Golet, Hip Hop Anonymous, Carablast Reverse into a Vanillux non hollow. So we are building quite a bulk pile here. It has been a while since I've said we need a penny sleeve. So hopefully that changes here very soon. Next, I am going Vivid Voltage and we will see if our luck can change. And don't worry though, we are bound to pull something good. I literally have a booster box of Lost Origin here, a booster box of Silver Tempest, three Pokemon tins. I could go on for days. The Christmas was good. We have a Duskull, Furrow Seed, Riulo, Sandile, Whalmer. Ooh, and an amazing rare Zayakan and a Cofable non hollow. But I will take that amazing rare, and that is amazing enough to get a penny sleeve. Which I'm not sure we might have two, possibly three of these. So, um, again, if you like, subscribe, and comment, one of these could possibly be going to you. So please do so. It's very well much appreciated and I would love to see you guys get your hands on some of this stuff. Alrighty, get this in our bulk. And I'm gonna save the Evolving Skies for last even though I know those pulls are tough, but we are gonna go Fusion Strike first. I would love to pull that Gengar. I am a Gengar fan. I have loved Gengar since the beginning episodes. So let's see what we can do. Here is the code card. Come on, alternate art Gengar. Let's do this. Quillfish, Volpex, Chansey, Zigazoon, Mankey, I am a Mankey fan. Reverse Toxel, which is very cute. Woo! We got something good, but I will show you this super cute Ooh. baby guy into a full art Sanda Conda V. Thank you, finally getting a pull. That is very nice. A little off top to bottom. Left to right looks all right. Eh, most likely it's getting to nine, but we could all dream of that 10. And you never know. I think they, like I said, I think there's like a 70-30 ratio of PSA on the cornering and stuff, but only one way to find out. So have you, how's your packs been so far? If I can get this in the top loader, it'll be on to the next one. Okay. Which is the next one? No. And there was our Santa Conda V. Is and do you want to look at this up if it was an alternate or not? I'm not sure. Probably not. Sorry, I'm not privy on every alternate art. Sometimes I think something is and it isn't. And I sometimes I think it is and... I mean, it isn't, and it is. I'm gonna voice it. Um, what, what pack was it? Hmm? Just Google it. Just Google it. You don't need to be talking into your Google thing. You can easily use your thumbs and type mm -hmm. away. Yeah. All right, now we are, I jumped the gun. I got so excited about that one that I went straight into my Evolving Skies. I was like, all right, Fusion Strike gave me something good. I'm on to the next one. San Dakota V Pokemon. There is our last fusion strike. Is it from Chilling Rain? Hold on a second. 